Fresh at 11, President Bush looks back at America's first week at war and ahead to the end. Prayers tonight for people on both sides of the showdown. Plus, when the dust clears in the Gulf, what will the new world order be? An expert takes a look. And arson investigators probe a mystery map in Pittsfield. Stay with us. Bernie Tatro, Tracy Egan, John Graney on sports, and meteorologist John Sesserich. Now, live, the number one news in the capital district. This is the News Center 6 19 Report. There can be no pause now that Saddam has forced the world into war. We will stay the course and we will succeed all the way. Good evening. A determined President Bush tonight takes a look back at America's first week at war and at what's to come. That leads tonight's, tonight's showdown in the Gulf developments. The President says Operation Desert Storm is right on schedule. He calls the Scud missiles fired at Israel and Saudi Arabia weapons of terror. The Pentagon says Allied Air Forces have made more than 12,000 sorties. And a ground skirmish produces Iraqi POWs. That Operation Desert Storm is right on schedule. The president sounded upbeat in his first public address since announcing the start of the Gulf War one week ago tonight. In a speech to the Reserve Officers Association, President Bush said Scud attacks against Israel and Saudi Arabia strengthened the U.S. coalition. Saddam has sickened the world with his use of Scud missiles. These weapons are nothing more than tools of terror. U.S. Patriot missiles tonight intercepted Scuds aimed at Israel and Saudi Arabia. Allied Air Forces have flown more than 12,000 sorties now, and they've now widened their targets. They still hit targets in Iraq, but have added Iraqi ground troops dug in in Kuwait on their missions. Our ground troops exchanged fire with Iraqi troops along the Saudi-Kuwait border, a battle that left several Americans injured, six Iraqis as prisoners of war. The president tonight appeared moved as he spoke about the Allied airmen held by Iraq. I watched, along with all of you, that repulsive parade of American airmen on Iraqi television. One more proof of the savagery of Saddam. The president said what is at stake is more than U.S. energy, economy, security, and the stability.